Finally, we have question number nine. Three satellites all orbiting planet Hamanhidala of the same orbital radius. Not likely, unless it was a planet that broke up without throwing anything out into farther or closer orbits. But it's physics class, and we get to idealize all the time. So satellite one has some mass, satellite two, twice, satellite three, three times the mass. Compare the orbital speeds of the three satellites. Well, guess what? This is a trick question. All right. How do I know it's a trick question? We know that V squared, mv squared over r, for all of these, the centripetal force for each one of them is going to be equal to g m m over, I should make this a capital R, we're talking about orbital radius. So r over here over r squared over here. So if we're trying to find the orbital speeds of the satellites, we cancel this out with this right here. Mass cancels out, mass cancels out, and we get, again, something we've seen before. We get that V is equal to the square root of G M over R, where G is the universal gravitational constant. M is the mass of the thing that's being orbited, planet Hamanahitala. Okay? The mass of the satellite itself canceled out, saying that this result here, this velocity, is independent of the mass of the object that's in orbit. We've talked about that before. We've said that it doesn't matter if it's a Volkswagen or a concrete truck or a nickel, I think. I'm paraphrasing. I might be quoting directly something I said before. All right, so the velocity is simply a function of the mass of the thing that's being orbited, planet Hamanahidala, and the radius of the orbit. Since they all have the same orbital radius, they all have the same velocity, independent of the mass of the object. A trick question. What in physics? How could that be?